What distinguishes thinking while painting from thinking about painting? What's significant about the artists we study in art history is that they challenged established notions about what art is or should be in some way. Have you ever questioned why you frequently see depictions of two hands from two distinct persons attempting to contact but failing? It can be found all over the internet, in the art aesthetics area, or just by searching for historical paintings. Well, that's the creation of Adam, a well-known Italian painter and sculptor who is responsible for the most famous painting in the entire world. Without further ado, let's glance at this beautiful piece of art. A well-known Italian Renaissance painter, sculptor, architect, and poet, Michelangelo had a profound impact on Western art. Michelangelo is still considered history's finest artist. He produced a number of priceless buildings, paintings, and sculptures throughout his lifetime that are today considered to be among the best works of art in the world. The majority of Michelangelo's work was on marble, and he initially thought of himself as a sculptor. One of his most well-known pieces is the creation of Adam, one of the frescoes he painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. Michelangelo created the creation of Adam as a fresco between 1508 and 1512 on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. The shown text from the book of Genesis tells the tale of how God made Adam and gave birth to the first human being on earth. Michelangelo was already working on the tomb of Pope Julius II when he was asked to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The Twelve Apostles were intended to be depicted in paintings on the Sistine Chapel's pendentives. However, Michelangelo persuaded the Pope to grant him permission to change the entire plan. In its final form, it has evolved into one of the most intricate yet challenging pieces, depicting over 300 people and spanning more than 500 square meters of the ceiling. Adam is on the left in the artwork, and God is on the right. With his beard and hair blowing in the wind, God is flying into the skies. He extends his right arm to touch Adam's left hand, who is lying on the ground. Their hands are almost in contact when God creates Adam. While both God and Adam are portrayed as strong beings, God is draped in a white mantle, while Adam is shown to be unclothed. Adam's strong build is strikingly comparable to Michelangelo's well-known David monument. The representations of God, 12 figures that have been regarded as angels surround God. The person under God's left arm, however, sticks out because she appears to be distinct. In reality, it's a lady, although it's unclear who she is. Some have asserted that she is a female angel, while others have claimed that she is Eva or even the wife of God. Michelangelo chose to represent it as the divine breath of life, with the fingers of God and Adam almost touching. This famous gesture symbolizes the arrival of the first man on earth. Michelangelo found inspiration for the creation of Adam in the biblical passage, God created man in his own image, from the book of Genesis. Because of this, two comparable, powerful bodies may be seen in the artwork. The most obvious interpretation of Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam is that, in accordance with the Bible and the book of Genesis, God created human life. Because of this, we can see in the artwork how God touches Adam's finger while creating the first human life. In addition, a lot of academics and historians think that the curtains and angels who surround God have an appearance similar to the shape of the human brain. It illustrates the painting's secret significance. Michelangelo thought that people should pursue academic interests, and he attempted to convey it in this painting, according to various researchers. They believed that God was giving Adam the gift of intellectual and creative talent in the picture. Michelangelo thought that his artistic ability was a genuine gift from God. He is trying to teach people through this artwork to pursue intellectual development because God has endowed us with the divine gift of consciousness. Meshberger was able to interpret the fresco from his suggested point of view by examining the various parts of the picture and their neuroanatomical correspondences in the brain. He provided evidence that the concept of God and the human brain may coexist. Additional layers of interpretation for Michelangelo's artwork The Creation of Adam may now be feasible because of the addition of one additional anatomical illusion. Many have argued that the shape God and the angels conjure is reminiscent of a womb and placenta, arguing that Adam was born, not made, by God, out of nothing. 
Some people have even connected the circle of angels in the backdrop to the placental surface and the line connecting God's and Adam's arms to the umbilical cord. Though possibly Michelangelo was unaware of the extent to which scientific and anatomical understanding would eventually displace biblical ideas, this connection indicates a notable increase in awareness of them during the Renaissance. For instance, some claim that the area between God and Adam can be seen as a shadowy shape that symbolizes God's breath of life. Others contend that the shapes and figures that surround the image of God are a precise representation of the human brain, which includes the frontal lobe, brain stem, pituitary gland, as well as other elements of the cerebrum. Others have said that the green scarf at the bottom is actually an umbilical cord that has just been cut, and that the crimson robe that surrounds God is shaped like a human uterus. Michelangelo had a strong belief that his artistic talent was a gift from God that he had been meant to impart. Perhaps he also sees all of humanity in the phenomenal expansion of human potential that occurred throughout the Renaissance and gave rise to such extraordinary periods of innovation. It seems as though Michelangelo was giving everyone the go-ahead to pursue their utmost level of success because we had been given the heavenly gift of consciousness. You can see the amount of meticulous detailing that has gone into each of his sculptures, paintings, and architectural marvels when you look closely. You'll notice his attention to detail when it comes to present accurate information. This is one of the explanations why admirers of Michelangelo's magnificent work The Creation of Adam continue to revere it and discover many mysteries inside it. Additionally, because of its appeal, The Creation of Adam has numerous admirers who have tattooed it on their bodies. The magnificence of The Creation of Adam fresco is specially celebrated in America and Christian nations throughout Europe. With this, we end today while hoping that this video engaged you before you leave, comment to tell us while subscribing to our channel, and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for the upcoming videos. See you all next time. Adios.